land less than 25% of their significant strike attempts. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. There aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. It's who is he first? Fighting out of the blue corner, Magic Man. And now it's who is his opponent? Fighting out of the red corner, Bruce. The Dragon League! Herb Dean, third party in the Octagon tonight. All right, here he is, the founding father of modern MMA. Bruce Lee ready to go for round one. The speed and the angles just absurd. And a heart got to simulate in training. You think you got a beat on him, and then you end up twitching on the canvas. So we'll see how the opponent chooses to defend Bruce Lee here in the early going. Oh, and so now he lands another combination, so it's never just one shot. There's always two or three coming behind him. A lot of times, people throw singular strikes. Not this, gentlemen. This man is stringing four or five, six in a row. What a great job. Bone on bone as the head kick lands flush. He better get those hands up or he's going to put him to sleep. What a nasty kick. That was thrown with ill intent. Oh, nice inside leg kick. Yeah. Straight right hand on the counter is good. Good punch. Trying to go to the body here. Unable to find the target. Frantic pace early on to this one. Back and forth we go. Oh, massive kick lands flush. Lee gets hit by that leg kick. Nice punch lands over the top. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. There's the leg kick. That one checked by Lee. Oh, beautiful counter. Push kick there to the body. Another body kick land. Just missed with the leg kick. Big power shot there. Three, two, three. Over and over. Same story. Punch after punch to the head. Yeah, left hook found its target. That is a clean strike, and it gets right through the goal. Oh, huge strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. Four, I need four. 
You wonder if the offensive fighter is going to start to get frustrated here. Most, if not all, of these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. Beautiful high kick there. Back kick there. At what point do you adjust and see these head kicks landing over the top? Oh, nice. Beautiful combination there. If you are teaching an up-and-coming fighter about throwing volume strikes effectively, you can do worse than watching the film on this I mean, guy. It's a master class, John. It's a master class in mixing up the target, mixing up the strike. Oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Now lands a solid punch there. 30 seconds to go on the round. Oh, great block there. Touches him with that left punch. 15 seconds to go. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. Right. Five minutes in the books. We look back at some of the replays from that previous round, DC. A lot of good action for fight fans over those five minutes. I mean, high pace, high intensity, all action first round. Both landed multiple strikes. What a great round of fighting. You ready to fight? Ready. Here we are, early round two. All right, next round is underway, and somewhat surprisingly, he got out of that previous round without absorbing anything in terms of significant damage, despite the fact that his opponent was pretty offensive. His opponent was very active, but it seems as though he could see almost everything coming in his direction. He's so well-versed, he's so skilled in his defensive fighting that nothing is breaking his defenses. Great block there. Oh, he lands another debilitating strike to the body, and he continues to punish his opponent's midsection. Had a lot of success with it in the previous round, and picking up exactly where he left off. Back out, back out. Oh, big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that fish. Superman punch is good. Both guys appeared to land there. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh! 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 Just over three minutes now to go in round two. Oh, he's got the single collar locked in the clinch now. Oh, man. Defense. Oh, back to the overhand right. Swing and a miss. Put your combinations together. Circling to his right. And that spinning kick found its home up top. Well, it didn't take him long to get a good read on his opponent. Another good series of kicks there. He thought the kicks would be the key tonight, and they sure have been. 
Wind it up on the right there to no avail. Ah, oh, he's been working hard defensively, kicked Brock there. This pace is just absurd, and he has kept it up throughout the fight. Shades of Max Holloway against Calvin Cater. Punches and punches. I mean, being there, watching Max Holloway do what he did was super impressive. So to even list his performance alongside that tells you how this guy is fighting tonight. It immediately gets the underhook. Under two minutes now to go. Oh, how good is that kick? but he's in a lot of trouble. He went high on that one. Oh, with authority, the body. Man, his head should have been tested early. Oh, roundhouse kick lands. Nice defense there, huge block. Let's go, we need to score that takedown now. Under a minute, and now to go in round two. Hands up, hands up. Whiffs on the straight right hand. He's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed, great job. Beautiful straight right hand. Oh, and that punch elicited a reaction from the crowd. Fast leg kick lands. Seconds winding down in round two. Oh, that head kick landed. Oh, that'll snap your head back. Beautiful combination. Oh, All right, round oh. three coming up next. Great job that round. He won clearly. Take a deep breath and relax. Look at him over there. He's like a piece of meat. He's beat up. Let's go out there and look for the finish. We want you to check. All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. You ready? You ready? Third ready. round underway. All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high-level mixed martial arts. Big inside kick. Another kick to the leg now lands. Beautiful work as usual on the feet by Lee. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Went for the inside leg kick. Well, the most significant stat in this fight has been body strikes. And at times in the past, maybe you could say he's been a headhunter. But tonight, he has worked the body to great effect. And those are really starting to take their toll. Trying to do damage now with the kick. That's a miss. Nice head kick gets through. That's a big strike right there. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. On point with that jab today. Pretty good kicks there by Lee. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment, John. It may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, 
the more damage you do eventually, it will show itself. Right now, it's starting to show. Three minutes to go in round three. He's got that single collar tie. Oh, the roundhouse kick lands. I can't believe he's still standing after two. That is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. So we have crossed the midpoint in this one. Well, lands a good series of kicks there, DC. It really didn't take him long to get a good beat on his opponent. He figured the timing, and now he's been driving kick after work, work, kick work. into his opponent. Checks the leg kick. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. Just misses there with the left. 90 seconds now to go in the round. Jab now again, the fire of Ace. Lands the low kick. Oh, a huge block there. Nice straight right lands. Oh, effective use of the jab by Lee. All right, 20 seconds to go in the rest. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Lee going with the kick to the body, but unable to find the range. And that'll do it, 15 minutes in the books. Now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. You ready to fight? Ready. Fourth round now, fight schedule for five, five minutes. Pretty good back and forth action in the previous two rounds. Your expectations here as this next round gets underway. I expect the action to really pick up now. These guys have to lay it on the line as we start to approach the end of the fight. That's how you control the fight. Keep fighting behind the jab. Going for the body, miss with that kick. Keep your hands up, use your footwork now. It's okay. Use your footwork. Oh, how about it? Huge kick landed. Lee's got a bruise starting to appear on that right side of his body now. 
Strong straight left there. Cardio looks great. He's still bouncing. He's still moving. He's still real confident. He's trying to set a trap here before he can engage and really spring in there with a couple big strikes. Oh, he blocked that one. Oh, sidekick lands. Back and forth we go. Oh, now lands a kick to the body. Just over three minutes to go now. Oh, landed that inside leg kick. Already a welt on his opponent. The issue with that kick, as effective as it is, one gets checked, you have the Anderson Silva situation. Oh, the accuracy to land right there. His opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. Oh! All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You got to think he's going to continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer because right now he seems lost to it. Straight right is there. Two minutes to go in the round. Yet another strike targeting that already bruised area on the side of his body. Just mixing everything up there. Finding his target, using his punches, his kicks, and everything else to try to do damage to his opponent's body. I love this game plan. Lee going for the body, targeting that area with the kick, but unable to land. Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shin into his opponent's thigh, beating his leg up. This is work, guys. Come on. Oh, and he caught the kick. Lands a beautiful leg kick. Under a minute to go. These boys are standing right in front of each other, just kind of going at it. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Well, as soon as he goes with that high guard, he pays for it to the body. You see the bruises really starting to accumulate. In the beginning of the fight, you think, I got to protect my head at all costs. Right now, I believe that this guy has to worry about his body. Look at how red the side of his body is. It's got to change something. Oh, just misses with the kick. 15 seconds. Just out of range with that left hook. Right. 20 minutes down, five to go. Great round. Relax. Breathe. All right, here's some water. Now listen, I want you to stay sharp. Don't get suckered into that crap. I want you to get out there. All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Fifth and final round. All right, here we go with our next round, and really shades of the Diaz brothers in that previous round. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy, just a lot of efficiency on the feet. Very, very efficient. Good round in the sense that he did not throw everything with absolute power, but he was touching the entire time. Then every now and again, he would set down on a strike that was really damaging his opponent.
Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. He blocks the shot. Huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. Oh, nice inside kick. Big shot lands for both guys. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Beautifully placed there by Lee. Continuing to go to the head. He's throwing these punches in combination. Really dictate the pace to his opponent. Well, we talk so much ad nauseum about this trend of leg kicks in MMA, but oftentimes only a few can cause real visceral damage, and now you see the limp. Yeah, you start to see him limping from the damage from the kicks. This guy did not address those kicks early, and now he's paying for it. He checked that last one. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Going to the sidekick. All right, well, time is the enemy now, DC, and he's really running out of it if he's going to get his hand raised tonight. He's got to go forward. He's got to just throw everything at his opponent to try and find that punch or that kick that's going to end the fight. There is no time for strategy anymore. Oh, nice. There's the kick. It's blocked. Oh! You hit him first. Lands a jab. It's now to go on this one. Dead, dead, dead. Nice. Straight right hand, no good. Lee's left leg is now compromised. Perhaps it was that last kick, but clearly you can see he is dealing with a limp, and that could be a storyline that continues as this fight rolls on. Oh, a huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt, the kill shot is what they call it, to go and end the fight. When both are prepared, these are the types of fights that we expect. Nice body shot. Looks like someone took a red Sharpie to his side. A lot of bruising courtesy of those body strikes. So big kicks, big punches. He's doing everything he told us he intended to do to slow this guy down. And you can see his opponent starting to really be labored in most of his movements. All right, let's go, let's go. One minute to go in the fight. Well, he's got a pretty good sidekick, and you saw it right there. He did it great, and it pushed his opponent. Oh! Oh, gotta keep pressing here. Kick land. Both fighters throwing heat now. 30 seconds now to go in the fight. Oh. Oh. oh, that one landed, yep. Final 10 seconds of the fight. right till the final horn. What a tremendous finish to this one as we go the full 25 minutes. All right, so the fight goes the distance. We'll take a look back at the action, but should go his way given all he got done in the striking game. Yeah, he did a great job of landing at will, mixing up the target, doing everything that he's become known for in order to cruise to a very good decision. I know he didn't get the finish that he wanted so bad coming in here tonight, but he had a phenomenal performance and he showed 
that he's one of the best fighters in the world. All right, the official decision is in. It resides with the venerable Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest. 49-46, 48-47, and 49-46. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee! So the legend Bruce Lee does it again. That was a prime performance out of the martial arts legend tonight. This man, of course, has had no shortage of challengers since coming to the UFC.